Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rashandria from Rose Budget Life. Today I'll be doing my October budget closeout. If you like the content that I upload, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you could like this video, it help it be suggested to those that need this type of content. Whoever wants to learn how to budget. All right, let's get started. We find October here. I'm just going to use one of my blank budget pages to close out the month. And I'll be closing out the month with $2,481. Okay. Make sure y'all can see. See? All right. Starting off income, it was a total of $2,481. We're just going to say monthly close out. And it was $2,481. $2,481 for my uh, 9 to 5 in healthcare. Starting off with bills. I did buy some stuff from Amazon earlier this month, and my um, total was two oh nine. So let me scratch it two zero nine. I already messed it up. Identity IQ. Grab one of these and wipe it out so I won't get confused. Try that again. Two zero nine. I make it first. Two oh nine. Okay. Identity IQ is thirty. Apple was seventy eight. I did buy some uh, air Apple Air Tags. I believe they're called. So I pay Apple back for the month of October. My car insurance was 120, 150. I'm sorry, it's almost 120. That's what it used to be. Uh, my tides was a total of 248. I do tie to my church, 10% of my income. And then um, my Discover loan was two eighty four. Make sure y'all can see me. All right. My AT and T cell phone bill one hundred dollars. My light gas and water bill was two twenty two. And. I do have two um, YouTube memberships and then an Amazon TV subscription on one of my credit cards. And that total was $79. And something else. I can't remember what else that was charged. But that total was $79. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. And that is all for my bills. So I'm going to tally that up. Twenty four eighty. Let's see. Twenty four eighty one. No. What am I doing? Two, two zero nine for city thirty. Identity IQ seventy eight for Apple. One fifty for my car insurance. Two two forty eight for my tides. Discover two eighty four. Okay, 100 for my cell phone bill, 222 for my light bill, and $79 for um, Navy Federal. And that is 
1,400. So if I subtract 2,481 minus 1,400, I do have $1,081 to work with. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and do my cash envelopes. But I'm going to follow my book so y'all be able to see me right. Right in the era. area. Okay. Gas received $250 for the month and groceries. Got $100. So that total is three fifty. And if I take one thousand, okay, so that total is sorry y'all three fifty. So if I take three fifty, let me see. One thousand eighty one minus three fifty. They gave me $731 left. Okay. From there, I'm going to do my sinking funds. I paid back my savings account this month. That was in the amount of $324. Medical. I had about three, two specialist office visits. They were fifty dollar copay, and then one uh, primary care visit. That was twenty five. Everything has went well with my doctor visits. My uh, excuse me for checking the camera. My thyroid was a little bit low, so I'm on two hundred milligram of levothyroxine for my thyroid. So I have to go back in two months for them to redo my labs. That's just an update of my medical situation here. And $42 was for my buffer account. And car maintenance. I hadn't got my oil changed yet, but I budgeted $100. I have $100 set aside. So let's tally up and see how much that column is. 324 Savings, went to savings, 125, went to medical this month, 42, went to my buffer, and $100 went for car maintenance. That's $591. And if I take, and if I take, let's see, let's show y'all, I'm going to fold it up. If I take 731 minus the 591. We're going to get my remaining total. So, 731, which is here, minus 591, gives me a total of 140 remaining. And from there, I'll leave the book like this for now. From there, I did my scratch and save. I budgeted a hundred for this month and I spent a hundred so I should have forty dollars remaining. And then let's see and forty dollars is gonna go to a scratch another scratch and save today. So I'll be doing that in just a second. And that's 40. So if I had 40 remaining, I am going to do a scratch and save that equals 40. And that gave us a zero base budget. So let's just do my final totals here to see if all that adds up correctly. So income 2481. Okay, so we're going to write 2481. Bills 1400. That's the total here. And then let's see cash envelopes. 350. I do order from um, Factor. I'll leave a link down in my description box if y'all want to check that out. Um, 
factor for my meals where I get maybe, I believe, 30 meals at a time. Um, Because I'm trying to eat healthier. My cholesterol was a little bit high. It was like 2, I believe, 214 out of 200 and supposed to be 200 or lower. So I will end up ordering some factor meals so I could eat more healthier. So um, cash envelopes was three fifty. Sinking funds, uh, let's see, sinking funds total was five ninety one. Saving challenges one hundred and forty for debt tracker. So this should be, I am a zero base budgeter, so this should be equal to zero. Starting off with income, minus $1,400 for bills, minus $350 for my cash envelopes, $591 for my singing funds, $100 for my saving challenges, which I've already did, and then $40 for my that tracker which is going to go to saving challenges for today and that gave us a zero base budget if you enjoyed today's video be sure to like comment and subscribe turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time i upload a video but right before i let you go i am going to do another scratch off saving challenge here i have forty dollars twenty forty And I am thinking about, believe that right here, 2040. Trying to keep both in, in frame here. I am thinking about doing. A budget friendly scratch off here so i'm gonna have no iou i'm thinking about doing this one it's a method mystery scratch off that i got from the rich broke mom when i had ordered my sister some um back to school saving challenges so that's what i'll be doing today okay grab my scratcher tool and I believe I am going to scratch, start off with this scratch off right here. I think I'm going to start off with that one. Hold on y'all, this ain't coming off. I'm going to see if I maybe need a coin. So I'm going to See if it'll scratch off with the quarter. Because my scratch off tool is not cutting it. so crazy i hadn't even took the thing off at the envelope and i'm sitting up here scratching the envelope <laughs> let's try that again so i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna scratch off this one this one and maybe that one let's see I had to know it was easy to scratch off. Okay. 
this is 25 so I have 40 here okay. so 40 minus 25 uh oh we got 15 left to work with okay I just scratched that one off. It is 15. So today I did 25 and 15. That equals 40. All right, so I'm gonna put 40 in the challenge. Back in the envelope, we ended with no IOU. And next, and next time, I'm going to remember to take the challenge out the envelope. And I thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, just leave me a... Um, Let's see, something fall in the comments or leave or anything like that in the comments. So let me know you've made it to this far. And right before I let you go, I do want to read a card from the Box of Blessings. I'm going to shuffle that up in just a second. All right, let's see. Walk willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. You can find that in Colossians 3 and 23. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessings. You guard all that is mine. You can find that in Psalms 16 and 5. Thank you for watching. Take care. See you on the next video.